Welcome to another video of, with CAD Crazy. Uh, this time we're going to look at uh, CAD work structure uh, and some of the uh, tools that you can use, mainly the uh, grading tool. Uh, we're going to cover more of these tools uh, in the future, but uh, I wanted to touch base on this one. So inside of uh, CAD work structure, uh, it's got its own kind of newer uh, interface now. So if you go to um, over here to your models tab uh, or models part of the ribbon and let's say let's go to uh, area objects you can see you can do grading uh, decking a slab walls or plates so we're gonna focus on the decking real quick so we're gonna say or the grading sorry uh, we're gonna do the grading and so here you can set up uh, when this dialog box comes up you can set up uh, different uh, parameters so we're gonna say this uh, the spacing is one and a half inch um, we're gonna say the crossbar is four inches and you can see that there's a dialog box right here uh, that kinda shows you what those are so this is a they're spaced an inch and a half and then the um, the crossbars are four inches uh, we're going to use a one and a quarter inch thick uh, grading. Uh, on this one here, we're going to show detail grading. So what that means is when you place your grading in, it's actually going to put the, the, the spacings in there where it looks like uh, grading. If you turn that off, it'll just be a solid slab. Uh, so we're going to turn that one on. And uh, I think we're good. So what you do is we're going to say insert. So we're going to pick our first point right here and we're going to come over here and pick the second point. And you don't have to do just a square. You can do another angle um, or another shape. It, anything you pick will do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and pick this one right here where this box meets. And we're going to pick that one and just follow this shape out. Now you don't have to close um, the, the, the box. You don't have to pick your first point as your last point. All you have to do is uh, when you're ready you pick your last point and you hit enter and it's going to generate uh, the, the grading for you. Uh, and depending on how complicated and how much it is it might take a couple of seconds to do so there we go so now you can see that we've got our grading now if you notice right here it does not have like the the bounding um, or the boundary uh, banding so if you want to change that so all you have to do is double click on it and now we're back into here and we can go boundary band, banding right here this button right here and then we just hit apply and it's going to take a second or two because now it's calculating what it needs to do and any time now there we go so now you can see that it's got a nice squared edge all the way around it So we're going to move this one back and so I moved it over 25 feet, we're in 25 feet. So there we go, we got grading over our structure. Now this does create a bigger file so you know be mindful of that. I would only use this kind of when you're ready to do a model review and you want a little bit of splash and, and finesse. Uh, then that's when I would use this. So I uh, hope this uh, helps you out. I hope it gives you another little tool that you can put in your uh, uh, toolbox. Uh, if you like the videos that we're doing, please uh, you know subscribe, like, and share. Um, if there's something you want us to cover, just let us know and uh, we'll try to cover it sometime. 